Hey guys, so today's video is something that's been really highly requested. It's a one brand makeup tutorial using e.l.f. cosmetics. And in this video I actually use brand new products. I snagged them on the website when they were having a huge sale. And then I just incorporated one or two items that um, I've had from way back when. And then I also used all of their makeup brushes um, aside from a blending brush because I couldn't find an e.l.f. blending brush in my collection. I had a lot of fun. Um, a lot of these things are kind of first impressions because they did just recently launch. So I'm going to be giving you guys my opinions and let you know whether or not you should buy it, waste your money on it. I mean, they're really cheap and everything, but still it's like a bummer when you spend those three bucks and you're like, ah, oh, you know, I, I'm just trying to like look out for you guys. Don't forget to follow me on my Snapchat, my Twitter, and my Instagram. I have been doing giveaways on my Instagram. Twitter, oh my gosh, there's so many stories that like you guys are missing out on if you don't follow me there, especially when sitting in Starbucks. I am like, I just... I meet so many interesting people. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I start off using the e.l.f. BB cream and this brush and I end up kind of just blending it in. And at first I was so in love, I love the texture, it was super light on the skin. It gave, gave me like a, I would say like a light to medium coverage, but you could really easily layer it without it being uh, cakey and just a mess but later when I was watching my vlog from that day I noticed it actually got like it just disappeared around my mouth so it had this weird kind of shadow so I wouldn't really recommend that BB cream because of that now I'm actually using the elf HD lifting concealer which I'm actually very impressed with and I ended up taking the angled foundation brush to blend it in um, I don't necessarily remember what color I ended up getting but it did blend in nicely with the BB cream, so if you do feel like you have too light of a color, you can always go back in with that BB cream. But I'm very impressed with the concealer. As for this, this is actually a foundation palette, and I use this contour brush. Um, I wanted to see if I could use the foundation palette in dark as a contouring, kind of a cream contour situation. But as I started doing it, I realized how warm the colors were, and when you're contouring, you want something cool toned. So I was kind of just trying to fix it, trying to play with it, see what I could do with it. And the foundation is actually very creamy. I was surprised. I was expecting it to be a little bit more drying, something that was like I was going to struggle to get out of the pan, but it was so nice. And the light colored foundation palette actually ended up being a really great concealer palette. So I don't know how willing I am to use this all over the face because I don't really like cream products all over the skin but they are really good full coverage so I would definitely suggest you try it um, they're very cheap as well so why not the elf blending brush is probably my favorite brush out of everything that I got it blends everything seamlessly powders creams it's amazing um, I wouldn't recommend the foundation palette in dark for pale people to like contour with um, I, I just didn't feel like the colors were really suitable for contouring it was good for bronzing though now I'm going in with the translucent mattifying powder which I've been using for like years now and I wanted to show you guys, do you see how much, like, more, this is what, like, the BB cream looks like, and then this is what it looks like when you put the powder on. So I really felt like the powder was necessary, because I was starting to look a little greasy, not really dewy, it was going more for greasy, and I wasn't really feeling it. So I'm not really in love with the BB cream, um, I think that because it faded so quickly throughout the day, I'm not gonna be using it at all. Now this is like a staple, it's the e.l.f. powder brush, I love this for everything. I ended up using the powder all over the face just so that I can go back in with the contour palette and actually contour the face. Now the contour palette I'm actually in love with and that color right there is super cool toned so it's fantastic for contouring. Um, it works really great to just like help hollow out those cheekbones and really give a shadow. Um, it did a really be like a better job than the foundation palette because the foundation palette was really warm but obviously that's supposed to be for skin tone and not for contouring. I was just trying to see if I could get like a multiple use out of a product and I was using the elf blush brush from the studio line the studio line bl brushes are amazing and the blushes by the way um, and I actually ended up using the like uh, contour color in order to uh, go in and contour my nose a little bit I wasn't really thinking about contouring the nose but I wanted to see how it would look and I used the C C brush the C shadow brush um, and it worked fantastic um, and then I actually, the banana powder, like the light yellow powder was really beautiful. I used that on the face as well. And then I actually ended up using the white. The white is actually a shimmery shadow, so it's like really nice to highlight. Then I'm going in with the Instant Lift Eyebrow Pencil, which I'm actually a really big fan of. I'm very impressed with this. Um, it is a really fat kind of pencil. It, like, it's creamy. So the moment you start kind of putting it onto your skin, the tip starts 
fading and it just starts becoming like a really thick pencil. But um, if you can work around it, it's definitely a really great pencil and I'm very happy with it. I got it in like two shades later than like the color I probably should have gotten, but I really like the way it faded into my brows and just gave me a really natural finish. Uh, then I went in with the $1 eyeshadow primer. I've been using this for years now and I love it. So if you haven't tried it, it's definitely, you know, super affordable. Then I went in with Matte for Matte. This palette is $10, I believe. And I tried to see if it was going to be like, you know, awesome. I thought it, like the colors were amazing. Um, and I ended up taking this contour brush and trying to deepen up the crease using this reddish brown. And by the way, I couldn't find a blending brush from the e.l.f. line that was in my collection. I should have gone to Target to buy it, but... My bad. Uh, so I ended up using a Sedona lace brush. And then I took this really light shade underneath the brows just to highlight. Which that one actually had to work a little bit to, you know, the light shades were kind of hard to make them pigmented. So I would actually recommend using like the NYX um, shadow stick or something like that. Something creamy underneath that product so that it is a little bit more um, pigmented. But they, the pigmentation of this palette is actually really good for the price that I paid. Um, I can't even find like any good... Uh, palettes like this at the drugstore um, on a normal basis so I'm very impressed and then I ended up just taking a really dark brown to just deepen up the crease a little bit I wanted to stick with like a very basic eyeshadow look um, so that you guys can see if you can actually get this palette for an everyday use um, I could have easily done like a smoky eye or something along those lines but I think that this is just so, so much more um, you know everyday like now I'm using the intense ink eyeliner and when I was doing this I actually wasn't very happy with the fact that the pen part was so huge. It was so hard to get into that inner corner and I just felt like I kept making the eyeliner thicker and thicker and I really don't like that. But it was very like liquidy so like it was really easy to draw on so I really like that. So if you can get over the fact that it's like super huge you can like it's a really good eyeliner. Now I'm using the um, lip liner in wine which it's actually it's not as pink as the camera portrays it, but it definitely isn't wine. It's not the color I would assume wine would be. And then I ended up using the matte lip color in wine as well. Um, and then I took their dramatic uh, eyelash kit, which is like just the dramatic eyelashes, and actually wore these out and everybody was asking me like where I got my lashes. And then I use the defining mascara, but it's a little bit sticky after you apply it, so just be careful. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give it a giant thumbs up if you did. Um, let me know if you want to see more of these kind of videos, and if I do kind of make a one brand tutorial, what brand should I do next? Um, if there are new products coming out in e.l.f., I would love to do this again, because it feels kind of like the $20 like makeup challenge, uh, just because it's like so affordable that it's just, it's kind of a challenge sometimes to make things work, so, I don't know, just saying, but yeah, so don't forget to follow me on all my social media, give this video a giant like, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video, bye!